Okay guys, we need to practice some counting. So, we looked at the timetables in the last video. In this video, we want to look at our number chart and we've all seen number charts like this. Okay, so you're counting just in ones up to 10 and we can all do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right. And then from there, your 10 timetable, counting in 10s, up and down, goes down here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. But in money, that is one pound. Okay. If you want to see your fives, then you follow your fives column and you jump in steps of five. And it's easy to see here because you go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Every time it's taking five steps. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we can see there's a pattern that's going from the middle to the end. All right. Ones, we should all know by now. Twos, we're skipping one. So you skip one, skip one, skip one, skip one. Right? This is 31, 32. Oh, it's always in the same squares. See? Same squares. You just miss one out. And that's how we can count in twos. That's going up. If we want to go backwards from 65 and we want to go backwards in tens, we jump up one. Remember, because tens go down in columns. Fives do like that. Tens go backwards. Okay. Think of this chart, guys. Write it down like this if you need to remind yourselves including this one we're going to write down our pounds in pence and better than understanding this you need to just write it down so we're going to take our pence away and first we're going to start with one pound we've all already written the one pound. That it has 100p. So. What we're looking at here. Our one pound. Is equal to. 100. Of these guys. Okay, if I had a hundred of those and I counted a hundred of them, I would get a hundred pence. And a hundred pence is one pound. Okay. So now we want to look at two pounds. Well, I'm going to need two hundred of these. Two hundred of these one pences. Where's my one pence? To make up two pounds okay and it's the magic of the double zero so wherever you have the double zero you're gonna know that you can convert it into pounds so we'll do one more example with the big number and if we need one piece We've got to add a, the double zero to it. So we have one, zero, zero, zero. That's our double zero. And this number is 1,000. So 1,000 one piece are going to give us 10 pounds. Guys, can you write this down too, please? These three charts are all I want you to write down today as long as you understand them and we'll move on again tomorrow.